Brigadier Chopra and Mrs. Chopra, thank you very much. Actually, I don't think we can really thank you enough. It was so gracious of you to, to accept this because without you, it wouldn't have been possible at all. And, and, and I, I, I must say that I really don't have words to express the gratitude on behalf of the regiment and the team. Right from day one to the end of the battle, all that has been written in this is Brigadier Chopra's. In fact, I remember very clearly when we started on the first, that is first July, we were sitting we were sitting on empty kokas, rum kokas. In 167 days, you had the battle on a chum with you. Uh, all this is badalat you, and how could we have this book not released by you? I have actually, again, no words for this team, sir, who worked so hard. So, yeah, no, so, sir, now the, 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 best, the best part is that all of them working so hard were working on what you had done, sir. I mean, it, it, it is uh, amazing. And it was so good that uh, of those 167 or 168 days, the, each word is as it is written, available to us. But it was very difficult to put it in the right sequence and put it with what the enemy was there and how we operated. So I really have no words to thank you. And the team, the way they've gone about it, having done all this, as you are aware now, sir, that they have dedicated this book to the regiment. This book is free of cost with all that they may have spent on this. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. So, I, I, once again, I know uh, uh, Mrs. Amarjeet is at the moment with her daughter and I also see uh, her son yeah. present there, and heartiest congratulations on this day. I, I hope uh, you find this book useful because we tried to mention and cover the spring sacrifice of both the officers. Thank you very much. That this book would not have been possible without your being at the top of the team. Exactly. If you had not started it, believe you me, neither Deepak nor I nor Ashwini nor Anil, we wouldn't have been able to get that kind of a you know, uh, the will, desire and courage to carry on doing and at each stage, the, the way you corrected and uh, complimented us, you know, it made us go even a step further. I will say uh, two words, sir. First thing is that I believe that this is a great story. This is a great book that has been written. But the fact is that you can only write a great story if there is a great subject. The way the regiment fought the war for people like us who were commissioned after the regiment was, had come back from the war. Like I was commissioned in December 72, one year after the war. But for people like us to learn what the regiment did in war is something that is phenomenal. And I think this book will serve generations of officers to come to realize what this regiment did exactly. and to realize what people like Major Amarjeet and Captain Sabaya, yes. what they did and what and also the fact that amongst the entire division the Indian Army realized that there were two combat units that were fit to receive the Battle of Chum honor. Out of 24 of them. So, 
I believe that this book will now give generations of officers of the regiment to understand what this regiment is really made of. Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah. One more thing I would like to add because Mr. Sabaya is here. So since uh, Bobby sir with your protection, since we know the story so well and we have written it ourselves, we have seen it ourselves. I mean you and I have seen it ourselves with Brigadier Chopra. The place where Major Amarjeet and uh, Captain Safaya, who were in the same squadron as the squadron commander and two IC, the place that they were put by Brigadier Chopra at that particular time was the place from where Pakistanis had put in their entire might to come across and destroy India's defences. That's the place where Major Amarjeet and Captain Savaya they stood resolutely taking on every single shot by the enemy and not only that they uh, managed to beat them, when the enemy came, came across they counter-attacked and threw them back. That's the kind of war, the fight that the squadron, C squadron had done which is less, less known to a lot of people today. In fact, that northern thrust, which we call today, which has been put in the book, has, was blocked by uh, Major Amarjeet and Captain Savaya. I think I salute to uh, Major Amarjeet Captain Savaya. Yes, okay. yeah, I, I just, uh, ladies and gentlemen, as a present regimental officer, I can only say that uh, what we are reaping today are the hard work and the foundation that all of you all raised of 72 Armour Regiment. But I can assure you that the present generation has taken it on from where you all have left. And uh, I can assure you all the regiment is in very fine hand. They are doing an excellent uh, job of uh, going to look after the traditions that you all have set. And uh, should ever a requirement come where we have to go to war again, I can assure you uh, the regiment will do once again credit itself wonderfully well. Colonel Master Regiment, sir. General Bandari, sir, ladies and gentlemen, I was called upon to raise the regiment and I am very lucky. I got the officers, JCOs and men from different regiments and the day we started raising the regiment, we had all forgotten where we all came from, we all became 72 of our regiment. By the time we got our tanks, we had already got the movement orders and we started moving towards GNK. Luckily for us, we had about a month or so, while we were part of 26 and 20 division, we could zero our guns. And by the time we moved out across Chenab and went to 10 infantry division, mm -hmm. we were kept in hiding not allowed to go across Manavar Tavi. So, in fact, we are committed to an area which was not known to us. The day we started moving on third, other two tanks are still to come across. And we started moving. That was the last time there was anybody from the division to guide us. We moved out. I can say all my squadrons, C squadron at Mandala crossing, B squadron across Manavatabi, and A squadron that was east of Manavatabi. Also across. And all squadron got committed at some time or the other. And it was contribution of all the squadron collectively that we could hold not only initially across the number Tavi, but subsequently take on them in a very, very fierce, intensive one to ten to ten battle in that person. And they were pushed back and after that they never came. To be honest with you, if regiment was not there as part of ten infantry division, Pakistani would have crossed and moved to Akhnoj. So, once again, sir, I thank you all for being so kind to me and my wife.
Uh, thank you so much. We are really honored. And Rocky is there. I think Rocky can do the talking. We are getting a little emotional here. Oh, thank you. Um, it's it's wonderful to see all of you together at this time. And every time I speak to people who fought in a war or you know brothers at arms who stood against any sort of uh, attack or defended their nation, <laughs> the one thing they always say to me is it's because of the man by your side and the flag over your head that you fight the way that you fight. And when I see the camaraderie and love between all of you, you know, almost 50 years from the date, I begin to understand why this regiment achieved what it achieved. I think history is, um, you know, critically important. History is an important part of what people will take away from your lives and your actions. And that is where I think the power of the written word, which lasts well beyond our lives and our endeavors, uh, is so important and I'm you know so grateful to all of you for having come up uh, with this book and put into words the actions of the of the regiment and the honor that it brought to the army and to the country and um, you know as a child um, as the family of somebody who was killed in that action I really look forward to reading that book it will answer so many questions in so many ways and I think that emotion is overcoming me as well right now. So just thank you, all of you. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, uh, it's, it's a wonderful endeavor. It's great to see the family together, the togetherness that you all have. And uh, I respect that. And thank you so much for everything that you've done and for making my mother feel that she still has a family, which is all of you. Thank you. Thank you. so much for everything and the honor and the affection which has been given by our extended family and especially a very emotional strength this regiment has given us and this is the only regiment I have experienced but everyone says 72 is the best regiment positive so much of affection and uh, thankful to everyone and especially to Suneji who has really looked after us in Ahmednath. It was so great at that time and thank you so much.